Okay, so this is a podcast to help you with the last couple questions on the notes. Um, all right, so the first question says that there are three lifeguard stands, and what we care about is the diff- distance between stand one and stand three. So we're going to use law of cosines, and we can set it up like this. So x squared... Annoying. Okay. X squared equals 97 squared plus 105 squared minus 2 times 97 times 105 cosine of 130. Okay, so this is an easy kind where you can just throw all of that in your calculator. And when you do that, you're going to get x squared equals 33,527.58. And then you have to, of course, take the square root. So your answer is 183.1 yards. So, for the next question, it says, find the length of any diagonal of a regular pentagon with side length 8. All right, so here's going to be an attempt at a pentagon. Ugly. What did you expect? Okay, so here's um, a side length of 8, and our diagonal, let us change the color here. Um, It's going to say any diagonal, so from here to here. Notice that there's only really one way you can draw a diagonal in a pentagon um, because you're always just going to be skipping one vertex. So like if I drew it here, it's going to have the same length as if I drew it here. Okay, so let me just actually redraw that better. Okay, so here's my pentagon. Side length is 8. And my diagonal is right here. So since the pentagon is regular, we can also conclude that this side here is 8. The question is, if we want to know this length, we're going to need this angle right here. So you have to remember from geometry the formula for some of the interior angles, which is n minus 2 times 180. And that will give us the sum of all five angles, and in this case we only want one, so we're going to divide by n, which in this case is going to be five. So three times 180 divided by five gives us 108. So now we know that that's the angle right here, 108 degrees. So now you can just input that into your law of cosines. So side that we don't know equals 8 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 8 times 8 cosine of 108 and when you throw that in your calculator you will get 12.9 okay last question so given the diagram of on the right of a parallelogram, write an equation for d in terms of theta. So what we're going to need to do is use the law of cosines again. So we're going to go d squared equals 14 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 14 times 7 cos theta. So the trick here is going to be to get, um, no, I think we're fine actually with that. Solve the equation for theta in part two. So this was part one. So part two, we're going to need to solve it for theta. So we're isolating theta. So we're going to have, first of all, d squared minus 14 squared minus 7 squared equals. So I'm just taking these two right here and moving them to the other side. Um, negative 2 times 14 times 7 
which is negative 196 cos theta. Okay, now let's clean up this part right here a little bit. So d squared and then 14 squared minus 245. Alright, now we need to divide both sides by negative 196. <coughs> and so our final answer is, well then we're going to have to take the inverse cos of both sides. So inverse cosine of d squared minus 247 over negative 196 equals theta. So that's your answer.